In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I am back in sharing his word again by Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Dearest brothers and sisters, I want to start by thanking you for your prayers during this time. It was a rough spell, but everything is doing well physically once again. I discovered two things while I was away, for lack of a better term. One, I had discovered I was running from him in my life, and two, that there is absolutely nothing existing as a fear that is too big for God to handle and take you through it for healing that is worth keeping from him. What I mean by this is we are all paralyzed by fear in our lives. Some things seem insurmountable, and we would rather not see it or even think about it, so we leave it buried. This is a huge mistake. If we hold on to it, God can't heal it. Remember, this is a general rule, as God is omnipotent and can do whatever he would like to do. The rule here is, do not be afraid. He will not let you experience pain or anything else when you bring this to him. So that is the big lesson I came out of this illness with after almost a month of semi-conscious days and nights. I almost feel like a hypocrite because here I am telling you this, and I am currently battling one of the most important struggles in my own personal life that I have ever come across, and that says a lot. I am going to ask you all for your prayers to defeat the strongholds I am up against and to bring a full and complete healing to the people and to the situation that is being fought for. I believe this is a direct assault on me due to the agreement I made to do this ministry publicly and to share everything God has given me to share. But only he knows the truth in any of it. Brothers and sisters, I was looking through my last journal book to locate a timeline on something when I came across a bunch of messages that have not been posted. I saw this one and was drawn to share it with you. May this bring us some hope to us all that this thing will finally have its end. God bless. September 17th, 2020. Lord, my child, be at peace. It is I, your Lord and God and Father. My son, you discern correctly, the Spirit does, when it comes to your purpose and mission. The day is fast approaching, my child, for the day of the awakening for all mankind. This will be a day of truth for everyone, regardless of what they have chosen to believe or not to believe. The day will be the same for all. All will see their soul as your God sees it. Nothing will remain hidden, and all truth will be revealed to them. Do not worry or react to what you see happening around you on a daily basis. It is just the front put on by the evil one who knows his time is short. Already he has begun to lose power as the last of his time granted by me to test the church comes to an end. It will be a glorious day as all lies will be uncovered, and once again my children will know the truth. Your job, my son, is to help them. Help them be free from the bondage and the snares the enemy has kept them tied up in. Help them with all the tools I have given to you over these years, and help me to lead them to the truth. The truth about the enemy and how he operates in their lives, as well as the truth as to who they are as my children children of the Most High, and heirs to my kingdom. I wish all to share in this reward, but only those who have repented for their sins and taken up their cross will be admitted. This is your mission, my son, and it is about to begin on the larger platform I have been telling you about. That is all, my child. 
Now go and prepare, for your day is at hand. I love you, my son. Amen. Join us in praying the Rosary for Priests on YouTube live streaming. The schedule is in the video description.